The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Howdy folks, it's Kato again with something I like to do every once in a while when I collect a complete wave of something and that is do a wave overview. And today I'm going to take a look at Studio Series 86 Wave 1. That's Grimlock, Cup, Blur, Scourge, uh, Hot Rod and Jazz all in one go. We're just going to go through each character real quick, pros, cons, and maybe talk about what we expect from the wave in the future. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, we'll roll the intro, and get started. It's Kato! So let's start off with the only Decepticon in the mix, and that's a little disappointing. I mean, I love my Autobots, but give me some bad guys, and not just Army Builder bad guys, you know? So, But overall, Scourge is really good. It was a good first impression. I believe it was the first one I got. Uh, trying to think if it was Scourge or Hot Rod, but either way, it was a good sign of what was to come. It was um, really impressive. The transformation was fun and simple. The articulation was good. The accessory, the one accessory, bar the two, uh, put his blast effect away, but it's all right. The gun is fine. I think they nailed the head sculpt. Love the pink fingertips. And I was pleasantly surprised with him in robot mode. And I was equally impressed with his vehicle mode. I think it sealed the deal pretty well on what kind of attention they were gonna to pay to a mainline uh, movie series. The alt mode, the soap dish, or bar of soap here, really well done. A little bit of a shell former, but it's kind of what you have to do with those big wings, but very true to the movie as much as I think he could be at the time anyway. And yeah, overall, good sign of things to come. We have Hot Rod. It was one that I was really looking forward to because I, I don't really have any good Hot Rods in my collection. I've got the Titans Return and the G1 reissue, but to have one that is sculpted so well to represent that movie line, really well done. Not a lot of kibble or empty bits or waffling and the shape and sculpt of the chest, everything is great. Issues with the arm articulation, I know there are some fix to, fixes to that, but it's kind of off with that. Gimmicky wise, uh, you've got the fold out lenses from, you know, the one scene where he's wanting to shoot the Decepticons down. Um, that's fine, I think that's cool. The gimmicks with the hands, being able to rotate the hands around to pop in the um, saw blade and the one hand here folds out to show the welder where he fixes cup. That's cool. That's fine. I think they kind of got us having the higher price range class for him in order to do those gimmicks. But because he is a deluxe, but at a much higher price scale. But what are you going to do? got to throw in that extra plastic accessory wise you get a nice two little throwbacks to his g1 guns you get the saw blade that he used to free cup which i think is a nice little gimmick as well or a nice little addition you get the matrix uh, i've got it plugged into the blast effect here downside of the accessories the guns and the saw blade at least can store in robot mode. If they're gonna do stuff like this, one of my big gripes, um, I'm not a fan of just accessories for accessory sake. So I, I like to be able to put things places. Yeah, you can open this chest up and drop it in there, but I like accessories to have a home rather than having to keep a bag or a box somewhere. But just a, just a nitpick on my part. One of my favorite studio series bots of all the transformation is a blast, and the color and sculpt is really, really great. 
And in alt mode, he shines. I mean, it's definitely got its flaws. The yellow overuse of plastic there is iffy. I'm not super excited about that, but it's nice and sleek. And if you fiddle with it enough, you can actually get everything to tab in pretty close. I uh, have a little bit of issue sometimes with the front fender here getting nice and snug, but still really good use of that traditional hot rod look fake chest i don't mind that at all i don't keep them in alt mode anyway and of course weapon storage you can kind of mimic that target master aspect of him you can tab them up here and here nothing really to complain about for me i know that there are some complaints but i really don't have any next up the old timer cup and again I have no cup figures in my collection until this. So I was really thrilled about this. 95% um, awesome, 5% weird face. I'm, I'm on that weird face train. It looks weird. He looks like, you know, a zombie cup. Just, I can't put my finger on it, but something's off. Nice looking sculpt everywhere else though. Again, very clean. A little bit of waffling in the back doesn't bother me. Gimmick wise, he comes uh, with the ability to take him apart. Uh, a lot like the weaponizers, you can pop limbs off, pop the legs off to imitate where he got ripped apart uh, and Hot Rod had to fix him. Hands, kind of bulky there. Big boy, big boy hands. And they don't rotate. That's kind of a, obnoxious, but not terrible a really good representation of cup besides that really white walker face he's got there he comes with his gun which is fine and the energon goodie dispenser i thought this was a fantastic uh, accessory to have with him and he actually can hold everything in place unlike hot rod vehicle mode i think the vehicle mode is beautiful uh, the transformation can be a little tricky at first, but it doesn't take long to get the hang of it. Transformation is fun. Arms are a little tricky. Uh, be careful with uh, typically one of the shoulders. Doesn't want to rotate out, but really nicely done. Uh, storage of accessories works fine. And great, great representation of Cup's vehicle mode. Next up, uh, probably the second most annoying uh, character in the series for me. I can only take so much of Micro Machine Man's voice. As cool as it is, it gets old. Moving on. It is Blur. And again, this is kind of like a 95% happy, 5% what the H. The head sculpt, uh, similar to Cup, something is off. The Jay Leno chin just isn't doing it for me. Something's off. Can't put my finger on it. I'm not a toy designer. I'm just telling you how I feel about this. Light piping, fine. I'd, I'd rather have painted eyes. But uh, loose joints on this one. This is one of mine that had some loose joint issues. But still, a good representation of blur. Accessory wise, you get his gun fine and I forget what he used this for but another little welder there that slides on that, that I don't I don't care about that he's fine colored plastic the seats a little loose but it'll do what it's supposed to do transformations pretty fun sometimes this wants to come untabbed a little bit but I mean still not a lot to complain about he was always kind of a weird looking speeder but cockpit looks good some detail inside there weapon storage is fine you can pop that in here and then pop this weirdo thing in here i forget how but you can yeah pop that in there so that's fine but it's it's good and now the last of the deluxes, here's Jazz. One that I know plenty of people, including myself, was really looking forward to getting a traditional Porsche Jazz. And it really didn't disappoint. 
he was short fine I don't care about that he looks really good not perfect uh, I know uh, some folks are disappointed that you can't spin the wings out like the toy but this isn't based on the toy it's based on the cartoon and it's pretty accurate this whole piece being translucent plastic I know that some people are starting to have issues with and it's breaking so far mine isn't we'll find out if I transform them again here if that changes simple paint and color toy hacks has a phenomenal kit for this that uh, my buddy Patriot Prime just did a review on recently to step it up and it looks a little more toy centric then um, with the more detailed parts here in the crotch but I couldn't be happy with this and it's dawning on me right now that I really didn't do a review on it so this will count as that get it it's awesome and in alt mode one of the most beautiful mainline jazz figures we have gotten possibly ever it is gorgeous transformations a little obnoxious uh, with the canopy here just getting everything tabbed in but you can fiddle with it and get it beautiful 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 figure gripes i don't have any really uh, 14 i don't care about again toy hacks has a fantastic set that will put the traditional number four on there detail on the hood is great they nailed this i could not be more thrilled with this design it's absolutely beautiful maybe some darker windows too i don't like seeing robot kibbly bits in there but really really great clean looking porsche and last but not least probably the crowning jewel in the studio series 86 line and that is this enormous compared to the rest leader class grimlock absolutely thrilled with this all right i'm gonna be fair i said in my original review of him and i'm gonna say it now he's light feels hollow kind of like a a good ko there i said it it's fine he looks amazing and a really fun toy uh, to play with good to transform so great let me get this out of here this is actually uh, i did a review on this this was a sword printed by my buddy fire uh take a look at him take a look at that video order stuff from him and let's talk about accessories the gun fine it looks like grimlock's gun it's big bulky uh solid awesome the other accessory is wheelie uh, point of contention honestly once i wrap my head around the fact that it's an accessory and not a figure i dig it um, that they let you tab him on here or tab him on the back in robot mo or in alt mode it's fine it's it's not an action figure it's an accessory and cool Brimlock himself, robot mode looks great. Um, nice use of red and gold. Still a little confused about the uh, shaded translucent uh, plastic here that hides the Autobot logo. I haven't taken it off yet, but I probably will. There's two screws behind this gold piece that you can unscrew and take this off. But this is phenomenal and I hope that we get all the Dinobots in this scale. And there is very little to dislike about his alt mode. Uh, mine personally has an issue with one of the ratchets in this leg. I believe there's a fix for that. I may do that eventually if I decide to get the, re well, when I get the rest of the Dinobots if they release them. And I might keep these in alt mode. Um, the milky white plastic i do not like i've never liked it but it's not a deal breaker the color is great the size is phenomenal love how big this guy is and uh, another weird thing is the missing front teeth i don't know what it is with hasbro and missing front teeth on uh grimlock and on beast or kingdom dinobite but it's kind of goofy they, they have redeemed themselves from power of the primes this is beautiful. As I started this video with them in their robot modes, I figured I would leave them in their alt mode for the closeout uh, and hopes for the future. Overall, uh, despite a few nitpicky issues, this has been 
a phenomenal line for anyone that wanted to complete the 86 movie. And of course, with things like Kingdom Cyclonus, uh, filling in some of those other 86 caps, this is a great time to want to get your 86 movie collection complete. As far as what I want to see in the future, more Dinobots. Uh, I want to see Perceptor, Blaster, um, all the standards. I want to see them all and they can have my money. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate you uh, giving me some of your valuable time. Be on the lookout for more videos. I know it's kind of slow right now with Chinese New Year just ending, but I'm sure more stuff is coming down the pipes. Uh, as always, please check out the other rejected cons that started in by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. Uh, if you'd like to help the channel grow, the easiest way to do that is watch the videos, like the videos, subscribe. That's the easiest way. There's also the option of becoming a channel member. Please click that join button to see what that entails. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I wish you nothing but the best. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato!